Hello there everybody, guys and gals, it's Shiny Sparky 14 and welcome back to part 2 of the iMovie tutorial series. So last time we talked about various features, you know, but they were just basic stuff. This time around we're going to talk about things that are a bit more complicated. For example, first thing we are going to actually import a much better video. I am sick and tired of seeing that red, so I am going to import this one right over here. This is a good version by using Smart Converter, which I talked about in my other video of, you know, how to get rid of this red annoying thing that the Mavericks update has been doing to a lot of users. So, we have this, and then once again, we're going to go ahead and drag it on here, but this time around, we are going to import an image. Now, importing images right here, um, I'm going to just select this horse. There you go, and there's your image. Now, for images, you can do various things. The first thing you can do is, well, you know, you can treat it as the same thing, just the entire video. Now, the reason it's zooming in, I'll talk about that later. Or you can also, um, you can, you know, grab it and you can put it actually on top of something, of, of anything. Put it there, and there you go. Now, you may be thinking, well, what is the point of this? And now it's just blocking the whole thing. Well, that's where we have to go to the Adjust options. We click on it, and we go to Adjust. Now when we go to adjust, this right here, the video overlay settings is extremely important. Right now it's at a cutaway. A cutaway means of course that it's just going to replace what's currently here in the bottom section and you're going to see the top section. That's pretty much what you're seeing, see? It's replacing it and then it goes back immediately. But there are other options you can do. The ones I'm going to talk about, well, a side by side, that one is not too, uh, good and that's actually better with videos for example let me go ahead and um, undo that by pressing command Z and delete this and go ahead and import the red one that way we can tell the difference between them go ahead and do that and then come here and do a side by side now side by side will well you'll be able to watch two at once as you can see they are both moving let's go ahead and watch it for a few more seconds and yeah that's how you use two videos in one now can you do more than that Sadly, no, iMovie does not support that because it's, it's a free software, you know, it's just for introduction to video editing, so it's not that complicated. You can do it in Final Cut Pro, though, though it does cost $299.99 US dollars, which is quite a lot of money. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and undo that. There you go. And let's go ahead and import this again because I didn't quite finish. Another very common feature that people like to do is the picture-in-picture. If you do a picture in picture, what's going to appear is well this picture, but now this this time it's not the entire image, it's just that. So the thing you can do is you can actually move it around. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. How about that size and drag it to let's say this corner right here. If we play it, it will appear right there. Now other things you can do, for example, when people do import an image, they're like a lot of people actually do have this problem that I'm gonna say. They don't realize why their picture is moving and they want the image to be still. This is called the Ken Burns effect, which is actually the default whenever you import an image here into the actual video. The way that you do that is you click over here on cropping. You click on cropping and it will take you to three options, fit, crop, or Ken Burns. As you can see, Ken Burns is on blue, which means it's currently selected. If you want to fix it, go ahead and click fit. Once you click fit, you can go ahead, let's go ahead and play right here and play it and guess what will happen? it's not zooming in anymore now it's a still image which is what a lot of people like and they do have a lot of problems with that people don't realize that it's always on Ken Burns I, you don't know how many times people have actually come to me and asked me but anyways as far as other things let's go ahead and well come back here and we yeah, will keep it fit let's go back to the video overlay settings now it's this an animation this animation is for when it, uh, it's going to enter the bottom, uh, not the bottom, when it's going to enter the video, you know, the top of this. If you put dissolve, you can actually see that it is dissolving in and dissolving out. Hold on, when it comes right there. It's kind of a fade, but, you know, it, it's called a default in here. If we put, let's say, two seconds, it's going to take longer to appear. Well, you couldn't really tell too much of a difference, but, huh, you get the idea. If we put, let's say, zoom, let's go ahead and play it, it'll zoom in, see that? 
These are just ways for images to enter whenever you put picture in picture. The other one you can do is swap. This one looks a bit more complicated. It's not too useful, you know, in most places, but sometimes it might be, you never know. And of course, like always, you can edit this. And another thing you can do is the border. Let's go ahead and go back to dissolve, the basic one. And if we put a border, let's say a thin border, what's going to appear as well, a thin border. It's self-explanatory. Now you can't really see it. It's kind of a difficult image. Let's go ahead and use a thick border. Maybe that'll appear a little bit easier to see. Yeah, okay, you can see the black, you know, around it. That's the border. You can also give it a shadow. Wait, what is this one? I Border color, that's right. You know, you can adjust your color. Let's go ahead and go to uh, make it a green. How about that? And then play it back. And there you go. You have your green border. You can also give it a shadow. You, you, you saw that. Let me go ahead and unclick it and check it again. There, it gives it a shadow. It doesn't appear too well in this certain image, but sometimes that could be useful. That's pretty much all of that. All of the whole, you know, picture in picture. Green screen, blue screen. I don't want to do that yet because that's a bit more complicated and I don't want to you know get into that yet but cut away like I said before it's it will it'll basically replace whatever is here and it'll just focus on what's up on top here it's a good way to just switch I mean a lot of people sometimes question why use a cutaway when you can just do a split clip and then insert the other image there I mean that's true you know <laughs> it is true I'm not gonna lie see that it just cuts away what you could have done is just do a split clip then insert the horse in the middle and then adjust the distance, the time of it, such as this. And it's pretty much the same thing. But, you know, I, I guess cutaway does have its... Uh, I'm not really an expert on that, but I guess some people do like it in certain situations, which I don't really know of. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about one more thing, audio. Now let me go ahead and switch this back to picture in picture. I like that a bit better. Okay. Audio. Now you can import directly, you know, from iTunes or GarageBand or even some sound effects, whatever. But yeah, I'll go ahead and do sound effects. How about that? Just to show a basic sound effect. Um, anything really? I mean, I'm not, I'm not really interested in showing the actual sound effect. Really, more so just explaining layers. Now, for video, I said that you can only have two layers, and that's true. You can only have this one, and you can have a top one, which is either going to be a cutaway or a picture in picture or a green screen or side by side whatever for audio though, that's not the case you can keep having multiple layers but the way audio works is that you can let's say move this one right under the video but you also have another one over here which is separate now if you keep let's say putting more and more layers it'll actually let you you can keep putting more and more layers of audio right underneath the previous one I'm not sure if there's a limit to this, but from what I know, it's kind of, un I mean, I don't want to say unlimited. I'm pretty sure there is a limit eventually, but you can just keep doing this. Keep putting more and more layers. But there's always going to be one main audio layer over here, and I don't think you can. No, you cannot. You can't actually continue adding to the main audio layer over here, but you can keep adding to these other layers now. As far as, I mean, you don't even have to use a main audio. You can just, you know, take it out put it back in here or just delete it overall there I put it there but you can delete it and you can see actually the symbol of sound in here and this is your main audio layer while all of your other audio layers are right here so for audio iMovie is really good you can keep putting multiple layers for video not so much because again you need Final Cut Pro to actually keep using multiple video layers but let's let's go ahead and do one more thing editing audio a bit Select it, select the entire clip, and then you want to come over here. It's pretty simple, you know, you simply click on the volume, and you can decrease or increase the volume. It's that simple. You also have the option of lowering the volume of other clips, something I don't really like to use. It just seems a bit easier to just manually edit every single layer to however you want. That way it doesn't have to be a, too complicated, you know? But yeah, as you can see, you can see the waves going up and down as I extend it higher they go higher and as I move it down they go lower that's pretty much the sound of your audio that's pretty much it. I mean there are more complicated things with whole audio and video and you can edit you know color correction things like that but again that's more complicated I keep getting into more complicated things per video so I will see you next time so yeah
next time we will talk about more complicated things. Until next time.